Hey everyone, welcome to Think Woodworks. My name is Izzy Swan. The last couple of days I've been looking at videos, steam generation, steam boxes, steam bending, you get the picture. Not only did I look on YouTube, but I looked also on Google, I looked online and checked out search engines. And there's a lot of great information out there for um, bending wood, how to, you know, species that bend times, all kinds of crazy, you know, ideas for forms, backing them. But the one thing that I, there seems to be very little information on is that steam bending, steam generation can be used for so much more than, you know, just bending wood. I'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, that is nice. Mm. If you've ever worked with walnut, you've seen that white um, wood on the edge. This is the heartwood, that dark brown. This is what everybody's looking for. And then, then that white uh, band of sap wood on the outside edge of the walnut is, you know, I like the way it looks, but some people don't care for it, and most people that build walnut furniture want that dark color running all the way through. Well, with the steam generator, all you have to do is throw a piece in your steam box, leave it for about an hour and a half, and that color will bleed through, and the whole thing will be a one consistent color. Okay, this is a piece of hickory I um, I harvested. Oh three years ago in the winter time and I, I harvested it in the winter because that's when it has the lowest moisture content and the bark will have a tendency to stay on um, if you harvest it when you know there's very little water or little, very little moisture in the wood but occasionally I want to peel a few pieces of hickory for a project and uh, in order to do that because there's no way I'm going to take my knife and peel it after it's been dried for three years um, I'll just stick it in the steam generator and leave it in there for about 20 minutes and as you can see once I get it going that bark comes right off that's another neat trick if any if you're, if you're ever interested in using natural material that has the bark on uh, hickory maple those long grain barks come off real easily some of the shorter shorter grain barks are going to take a little bit more work but um, another thing you can use a steam generator for you know, another thing that you can do with a steam box is sanitize wood. And what I mean by sanitize wood, if you get some old barn wood, which I love to work with, occasionally it'll have some insects that have gotten into it. Here in South Carolina, we have a lot of fun with termites. And obviously, you don't want to build any something with live termites and sell it to a customer. You know, and also if you're using natural stock like hickory, uh, the ten that you know the grubs tend to get into if, if it's old and you picked it up off the ground and you're going to use it for furniture, you want to clean the, you want to make sure all those insects are dead. So all you really need to do is use your steam generator, throw that in there, and the rule is about the same. It's about a quarter, uh, about 15 minutes for every quarter inch of thickness, and pull it out. And that will kill anything that's in there, any of the grubs, any insects, any termites, and then you can use that material safely without worrying about, you know, having that come out later, having bugs crawling out of your customer's furniture. The steam box can come in pretty handy at lunchtime, too. Steamed peas, my favorite. Well, so as you can see, a steam box can be used for way more than just bending wood. It can also be used for fixing dents in wood. It can be used just a steam generator for screw holes. I got another video I did on how to repair screw holes with a steam uh, generator, and I'll, I'll post a link in the description box below. But anyway, so if you're thinking about building a steam box, go ahead and build one. You can use it for a lot more than just bending wood. Hope everybody has a great night. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You'll be glad you did.